Hello everyone, this is Paul Berterelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer from the cockpit of a Cessna Grand Caravan. Uh, we're a little bit west of uh, Wichita, where Cessna's main plant is. I'm with Ripley. Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, airplane's flying characteristics in a moment, uh, but first let's take an exterior look at this airplane. Unless you've been up next to one, it's hard to appreciate how big the caravan really is. The wingspan is 52 feet on a length of 41 feet 7 inches. The caravan began life in the 1980s at the behest of FedEx. They wanted a large, robust box hauler, and that's exactly what the caravan is. Its gross weight is 8,785 pounds, with a useful load of about 3,500 pounds. FedEx soon learned that the cabin wasn't big enough to haul all the weight the airplane could carry, so the Grand Caravan got this belly-mounted baggage pod. It's an option, but most airplanes have it. For power, the Caravan has plenty in the Pratt & Whitney PT6A114 Alpha, delivering 675 horsepower to a three-blade prop. Since 2008, all of the Caravans sold have Garmin G1000 suites and GFC 700 autopilots. It's often said that the Caravan flies like a big 172 or 182, and that's not far off the mark. Once you've mastered engine startup and operation, the rest really is like a big 182. Even with 675 horsepower, the caravan is easily manageable on the takeoff and climb. Herb, we've uh, been flying around here in the Wichita area. Uh, my first time in the caravan. It's often been said that it's a lot like a 172. I might say it's a little bit more like a 182, but uh, what kind of training do you think is uh, routinely necessary for a pilot to transition to this if he's got Garmin G1000 experience? Uh, Paul, I think uh, I think that's a good portion of it. If uh, if they're familiar already with the G1000, I think their training will go, uh, or any kind of glass, but G1000 uh, specifically, will we'll take a lot of the uh, uh, the extra time getting familiar with that, the avionics and stuff out of it. And like you said, it, it flies as far as characteristics, handling, flying like uh, one of our single engine airplanes, one 182, 172, uh, very forgiving, easy on the controls. Uh, and uh, the, the systems are simple in the airplane, uh, learning those, but it's uh, basically we go through a, a five-day course with, uh, with flight uh, safety uh, that we do, and, and coming out of there, you're, you're qualified in the airplane. Uh, the airplane uh, has plenty of power. It has a PT-6-114 uh, Alpha. Uh, engine management is very simple. Uh, basically, you got to watch the uh, ITTs and work limits. But everything is enunciated on the Garmin, and I noticed on takeoff it's already bugged, so I just have to move the power lever up to the bug value and then just pay attention to the airspeed. Right, just uh, pay attention to that, and, and like I said, everything is monitored on the airplane, uh, just like any other uh, uh, turbo uh, prop airplane. You do just have to monitor torque and, and temperatures on that, but uh, but you do have some help with, with the bug. Uh, uh, indication on the uh, on the instrumentation as well. As far as performance, uh, we've been tooling around here about 6,000 feet, uh, and we're seeing about 162 knots, and uh, we're throw flowing about 360 pounds. One of the things you mentioned in the pre-briefing is that, unlike other turbines and uh, pure jets, you don't really benefit too much from going a lot higher. Uh, the performance band is really uh, optimized in that uh, eight to 12,000 range. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, you, you will get a little bit of help uh, the higher you go uh, with, uh, with a turbine engine, but uh, to make the difference, once you uh, figure in winds and, and that kind of thing, it's the temperatures and that, and that stuff, uh, you'll have to weigh on your particular trip leg whether it's beneficial to go that much higher or not because the fuel flows, uh, there will be a little bit of difference, but, uh, but not, uh, not a significant amount uh, as far as that goes. Uh, looking through the POH, a very good short field performance on this. Uh, I think uh, they're using the utility role in Alaska and all over the world, and they get into some pretty short fields. Uh, how comfortable are you getting into, say, 2,000 feet? 2,000 feet, I think, is a, is a good number. Our, our numbers, uh, uh, of course, it depends. Um, if it's a paved, you know, dry runway, that's that's more than enough runway. Uh, you know, if you start uh, start getting into uh, unimproved fields, uh, high hot, then you'll have to kind of start monitoring your weights and and things like that and and the conditions. But uh, 2,000 foot uh, runway is very doable in this airplane. Well, thanks very much for the demo. That's all right. Alberto Rally reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. You can find a full review of the caravan in the uh, July 2012 issue of Aviation Consumer.